Hello friends, I have this decorative cutting board that I bought in the Philippines and uh, I have that piece of canvas that I just set aside. I will paint this only the sides with the burnt umber by Apple Barrel and later on I will paint also the back. But only the sides of this because I'm going to glue the canvas onto there. So I painted this, I applied about two coats with this paint because this is a little glossy. So once done, I already dried it to seal the paint since this cutting board is a little glossy and I will kind of uh, concern that it will come off over time. What I did is I sealed it with the Mod Podge. It's a matte Mod Podge to seal the paint. And then I dried it and just put it aside. And I have this um, very nice napkin with a cow design. I will just... I'm sorry, I'm going to remove the ply attached to it using a piece of tape. And then I will remove the excess napkin that I don't need um, using a water pen. And um, if you don't have a water pen, everybody, you can just use a small uh, brush. You dip it in water and just dab it onto the areas that I uh, that you will... Uh, you don't need the napkin that you don't need so that is what i'm doing there right now i'm removing the, um, the excess napkin and then um, first what i will do is to apply mud podge onto this uh, piece of canvas i am going to just uh, cover this totally and i'm going to uh, glue it there onto the the cutting board and as you can see it's a little smaller because i want the the sides of the uh, cutting board with the burnt umber by apple barrel to show so that there will be a little design and then i am applying mud podge again because i am going to glue the napkin onto there so what i will do is i will just slowly uh, tap it with my fingers so it's not gonna tear and then i'm going to dry it and once dry i will apply the mud podge to seal the napkin so i am using a fan brush i i love using the fan brush when it comes to mud podge because um it's really very gentle onto the napkin so i'm just comfortable using the fan brush then i'm drying it once dry i am going to use this uh these um i'm sorry the parchment paper and just uh, smooth the napkin using my fingers then i will make these look a little distressed using the dark antique wax by bear that i bought from uh home depot and as you can see it really transforms so good because i really uh, i really love vintage look and distressed look so if you don't like distressed look just skip this process don't use the wax now i have about eight pieces of these uh, giant craft sticks that I bought from um, Walmart. What I did was I painted four of it, the front and the sides, and the four pieces, I just painted the sides. So you will see why. And then once dry, I just uh, rub these um, tea light or a candle, if you have a candle, rub it onto there, and then I'm going to paint it with the Waverly Moss. I will just apply one coat. I am using a chip brush to do that. It's I, I love chip brush when it comes to chippy finish. I just find it uh, uh, very nice. Uh, it's all up to you if you want to use a uh, fine brush. Then once dry, I will just use this uh, packaging tape. I will just uh, stick it there and then using the handle of this... Uh, uh, pair of scissors I'm just you know um, rubbing it onto there onto the packaging tape and then peel it off and you can see the the uh, chippy finish and then I will start to glue this this is actually the uh, giant craft sticks craft stick that I just painted the sides so that's the reason why I just painted the sides I did not paint the front the whole uh, craft stick then I will just uh, glue the the one with the chippy 
finish the with the Waverly moss. So it really looks so neat. This is a very economical kind of craft, everybody. If you can find, I know Dollar Tree has a decorative kind of cutting board. It's not real cutting board. It's just for decoration. You can use it for this craft. And then just use uh, craft sticks. But if the cutting board is a little bigger, uh, you can use the 12 inch ruler sticks. So now I am, uh, I am painting the back of this and you can see um, I'm just putting the jutwine. It's the same process by the way when after I painted it with the burnt umbra by apple barrel the back I once dry I just uh, apply the mud podge to seal the paint. So now I am putting the jutwine onto the sides uh, in all corners because I want to have an, a little accent to this uh, craft and it really looks so pretty. Now, I just put it aside and then I'm going to uh, make a simple bow. I'll be using this uh, um, burlap ribbon that I bought from Hobby Lobby. So this is optional, whatever ribbon you have there, you can use it. I just want my ribbon to look different this time. So I just put it there and I tied it once tied, I am going to start to put, um, to make another bow. And I'm using this time a very pretty kind of cloth. And I bought this from Hobby Lobby. I already have, actually, I just made a lighter staining on this uh, uh, cloth. Uh, I coffee stained it, but it's just very, very light. And um, if you like to know how I... Uh, if you like to know the grunge mix, just message me, drop a message on the comment section and I will answer you. So I'm putting this now as, you know, to make my bow and it's really a very pretty cloth. So everything here is optional. Like I said, if you have, you don't have this kind of cloth, just see to it that the cloth you're going to use for this bow will match with the craft. So now that I'm happy with how it turned out, this time I'm going to tie it really tight and I'm going to just make it look fluffy, uh, fix it a little bit, and then I will um, cut cut um, the a piece of the bow and then I'm going to glue it there. So it's really very pretty. I just love it. I put it right in the middle there. And since the cow has uh, flowers on the head, uh, what I did actually is um, I also make an arrangement on the bottom, right bottom of this craft. So I just uh, put a simple, very simple button and it's black to just match the ears of my cow. And now I am putting um, Sweet Annie there, right on the corner, bottom right, and uh, three roses, which are it will match with the decoration on the head of the cow. So if you like this craft, everybody, and if you like to see more of my craft ideas, please go to my main page, please click like, and please give me a follow. So that's what it looks like now. It really looks so pretty. I need not put any message. It's very lovely. It match everything, you know, and it's so easy to make. So I only used one piece from Dollar Tree and eight pieces of the giant craft sticks from Walmart. So that's the finished craft, everybody. I hope you love watching this. Until next time.